Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a very interesting topic, bite marks in forensic odontology. So forensic odontology is a branch which uh, deals with identification of a person or age estimation by analyzing the bite marks or lip prints. So from the pattern of teeth or the pattern of bite they can identify the person or they can uh, reach to a conclusion of the incident where this bite was occurred. So bite marks is a branch which is uh, yet to be explored in detail. So let's learn uh, a little bit about bite marks and how the bite marks are taken. Not in very detail but to a UG level class the pattern and the types of bite marks and the importance of bite marks in forensic odontology. So bite marks. Bite marks is nothing but a physical alteration in a medium caused by the contact of teeth. Okay. So it is a representative pattern which is left in the object or tissue by dental structure of an animal or human so when we bite to a tissue when we bite to uh, even uh, when we taking a bite of an apple or a fruit we leave behind a teeth pattern so that is uh, that is nothing but bite marks okay so in forensic odontology the same concept is applied when this teeth pattern is uh, left behind in a crime scene or in other situations that pattern will be replicated in a cast or using a photographs or any other methods and it will be utilized for identification of the person or to prove a or to uh, reach a conclusion so what was the incident about and all the other details so it is nothing but a physical alteration in a medium caused by the contact of teeth okay so where we get this bite marks so bites on human tissues may be observed in uh, violent incidents where the attacker may bite the victim or the victim may bite the attacker during a uh, defense response during the fight in rape cases all these uh, bite marks are very much vital to prove the uh, case okay so bite marks may be observed in wax from a so it can be replicated in wax and from a dental model indirectly from or a photograph so these two can be used to replicate and also a scanned image of dental model also can be used scanned image okay so these bite marks may be observed in wax from a dental model and indirectly from a photograph or from a scanned image so what are the types of bite marks so forensic dentist use several different terminologies to describe the type of bite marks the first one is abrasion it is a scrape on the skin artifact it is when the piece of the body such as an earlobe is removed uh, with, with the effect of biting then avulsion it is a bite resulting in removal of the skin contusion is a bruise of the skin hemorrhage is uh, we know it is a profusely bleeding site incision is a clean neat wound and laceration is a puncture wound these are the terminologies which is used by forensic odontologist and what are the characteristics of bite marks so bite marks are like fingerprints to forensic odontologist so teeth may be considered as tools leaving marks on skin food wax etc so however there are often more characteristics involved in the analysis of bite marks so there are class characteristics to be considered such as which type of tooth inflicted the bite so we have various patterns of tooth incisors premolars canines molars 
so each group of teeth or each teeth leave a different type of uh, mark on the object on the fruit on the surface or the tissue so that difference can be uh, analyzed using bite marks so this biting surface of the individual groups of teeth are related to their function such as uh, teeth that incise or that tear or grind so each teeth has different different function so from the pattern of this teeth we can understand uh, more details using bite mark analysis in addition also uh, seen are individual characteristics characteristics such as if rotations fractures missing or extra teeth are present we can identify the person with the help of this analysis and the size relationship of bite marks are uh, as described by the dental arches could relate to a child or adult bite so child pattern and adult pattern will be very different okay so we can identify whether the bite was inflicted by the child or adult and we can uh, understand a human bite mark as an elliptical or circular in shape okay it, it might be elliptical or circular and if it is u shaped it shows that the biter has opened the mouth to a width okay open the mouth to a width and uh, the ability uh, to open the mouth maximally may vary from individual to individual so usually it is elliptical or circular and sometimes it is u shaped so what are the factors that affect the accuracy of bite marks so whatever marks we are collecting it may not be accurate because there are lots of factors which is affecting the accuracy that is uh, there is time dependent changes of the bite mark on living body so if the bite was happened at uh, morning time and we are taking uh, the bite marks at the afternoon session or maybe 2 to 3 hours after or if the duration is prolonged the exact bite marks will not be replicated so there will be time dependent changes okay and the effect where the bite mark was found and the area or the region where the bite mark is happening is also another factor so some uh, tissues will uh, retain the marks properly and some tissues will not retain the marks so where the bite was happening is also another factor which affect the accuracy then damage on soft tissues then uh, there could be similarity in dentition among individuals not like fingerprints the dentition pattern is not very precise and not very unique there can be similar dentition in many people and other factors like uh, poor photography photography is a big thing which affects the accuracy poor photography and the impression taking methods and measurement of dentition characteristics all affects the accuracy of bite marks so how do we analyze this bite marks so bite mark analysis is extremely complex procedure with many factors involved in forensic dentist uh, ability to determine the identify of the perpetrator okay so the movement of person's jaw and tongue when he or she bites contributes to the type of mark that is left and depending upon the location of the bite it's not typical to find bite marks where both the upper and lower teeth left clear impression sometimes just the upper teeth impression we get not the lower okay so usually one or other is more visible sometimes upper will be more visible and lower will be more visible and if the victim is uh, moving while being bitten the bite mark would look different from that inflicted on a still victim so always this will be a violent uh, incident it could be a rape it could be a, a fight between two people so you, we cannot expect the object to be at a still uh, position the object definitely would be moving so the bite marks would be a different pattern and if an investigator sees something on a victim that even resembles a bite 
the forensic dentist must be called immediately because his bite marks change significantly over time so as i explained because if the victim is diseased the skin uh, may slip as the body decays so causing the bite to move so if the person is already dead so we need to call in the forensic uh, odontologist immediately because as the body decays uh, the changes in uh, over the skin will remove the complete uh, bite marks the first step in analyzing the bite is to identify it as human not just humans even animals bite also is matter so animal teeth are very different from human teeth so they leave very different bite mark patterns next the bite is swabbed for dna analysis so dna analysis also very important we get uh, dna analysis with the help of this swab collection so because definitely there would be presence of saliva at the uh, insured site so that we can collect for dna analysis and forensic dentist then take measurement of each individual bite marks and record it and they also require many photographs because of the changing nature of the bites bruising can appear 4 hours after a bite and disappear after 36 hours okay after 36 hours this bruise will disappear so it appear only after 4 hours this bruising okay so bruising bruising appear only after 4 hours but it disappear after 36 hours so the bite photography must be conducted very precisely uh, using rulers and other scales to accurately depict the orientation depth and size of the bite then the photos are then magnified enhanced and corrected for any distortions so finally bite marks on deceased victims are cut out of the skin in a morgue and preserved in a compound called formalin so from identification or collecting sample from the dead people so we need to cut the sample from the morgue and need to be preserved in formaldehyde okay so commonly known as formalin so forensic dentists then make a silicone cast of the bite marks so from it they make silicone cast silicone cast in addition there are several different types of impressions that can be left by teeth depending on the pressure applied by the biter such as uh, a clear impression okay so a clear impression a clear impression uh, means that there was significant pressure an obvious bite obvious bite signifies a medium pressure okay this is medium pressure clear impression is significant bite okay then a noticeable impression okay noticeable means the biter used violent pressure to bite down okay violent pressure so we can make out all this violent pressure so clear impression obvious bite and noticeable bite all these can be identified by the photographs so finally to uh, finally to conclude that is forensic uh, relevance what is the relevance of this bite marks and forensic odontology so this bite mark evidence uh, which can assist the justice system to answer crucial questions about the interaction between people at the scene of a crime so what was the interaction so it gives a very vital clue for the interaction between people at the crime scene interaction between people so what was the interaction and for individualization based on their unique dentition pattern we can identify the person if we have so many suspected persons we can identify the person by their dental unique pattern 
and it plays a very crucial role in solving cases such as rape cases and child abuse so these cases this white marks are very much crucial and it describes the violence level of crime okay so violence level it describes the violence level so all this can be understood using bite marks by the forensic odontologist still it is in a very nascent state it is yet to be explored in very uh, detail but there are many cases where the forensic odontologist played a crucial role like uh, delhi uh, nirbhaya uh, case uh, where the forensic odontologist had the uh, big impact in identifying the person so not all cases requires bite mark analysis but some crucial cases this can be a pivotal evidence so that's all about bite marks and forensic odontology so i'll come up with a new topic in oral pathology thank you